What is up, everybody? Welcome back to a react in the a fate a zi a row um. Tonight we're on episode I don't know what this is twenty four twenty five something like that of Fate Zero the uh, the finale. We're in the, we're in the end game now. Okay, uh, things are getting crazy. Waver's gone. Well, Waver's alive. Okay, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Calm down. Waver's alive. Uh, Iskandar's gone. Waver's pretty much GG. He's pretty much out of the competition. So we pretty much just got like. Like, like, Gude and Emiya. It's pretty much Gude and Emiya. I mean, like, we do still technically got Berserker uh, running around, but who's really thinking that that's gonna end up going well? Um, I gotta just pull up my notes real quick. We're, what we're gonna start with is, we're gonna start with this cool video called Fate Zero Ending with Real Life Counterparts. So I was recommended to watch this. Then we're gonna read the Lancelot Wikipedia entry. Then we're gonna read the comments. Then we're gonna jump into the next episode, okay? That is our plan today. Just outlining it for y'all. Let me just boom. This is the Fate Zero ending with real life counterparts video. Um, I probably gotta mute this, but let's just uh, let's just start with this. Let's just get a hey, straight into the frying pan. Yeah, three, two, one, bang. Yeah, I'm muting it. Um, Iskandar. Oh, she. Okay, okay. So are all of these really based off of off of actual art? Is that what you're telling me right now? Cause that's crazy. Dang, why does Alexander look kind of fine? You know what I mean in this shot? In his golden chariot. Man, they even got the person in the front, like, cheering the same. Like, the person on the elephant here. And then, yeah, this is an elephant again. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. Gilgamesh. Freaking Gilgamesh. This guy is too much. Oh, wow. Oh, they're really going deep cuts with these. Oh, shoot. Okay, that's pretty cool. He's got the little, like, lion. It's, it looks more like a cub in this one, but that's really cool. That, uh... Because I was expecting just, like, a, the same thing as Alexander as, like, a painting or something, but no, that was, like, straight up a statue, okay? Lancer. Aww. He looks a lot cooler in this one. <laughs> he looks a lot cooler here. But that is, that is cool. Caster, caster, caster. Mmm. Okay, this is interesting. Um, this is just crit. Oh yeah, yeah. There's his name, Gillis. So yeah, this is this is very specifically him. Uh, I assume that's him, like doing this like prayer right here, because it looks like his hands are bound. Um, yeah. I was kind of. I guess I was kind of curious if like this piece of art was specifically about him or just more like the time period. But no, yeah, it has his name on it right there. So that's definitely him. I like how I can kind of read this. You know what I mean? Processing the criminal something, him. Like, it's in that old English, but, like, you can still kind of make it out. Uh, assassin. <laughs> Who ended up getting so rolled. Okay, that's just, a like, an image of him. Lancelot, which is the craziest twist. Zim, Lancelot, Zim, Zim. He kind of, he kind of clean though. King Arthur. Did they spell Arthur wrong? I'll let it slide. Surely do be spear in this guy. Oh wow! What? Is, wait, what is this piece of art? Why is it so like low quality here? This this looks like some like lost found footage type stuff. That's really cool though. I think my favorite is the Gilgamesh one and the Iskandar one because the Iskandar one's like one to one, really really cleanly, and the Gilgamesh one is such a callback. Um, the rest of these are obviously still really cool, right? Because they're all very intentional. I mean, kind of like the. Like, Lancelot, right? Like, this isn't a clean one-to-one -one piece of art. It's just kind of him chilling at the lake or whatever. Um, and then, like, Assassin, kind of same thing, right? It's just a dude on a horse. So, those are a little less, like, clean cut. But the, the first couple are, like, super one-to-one. -one. Okay, that's really cool. <laughs> All right, Lancelot. I'm going to just read a little bit of this. Um, I was told you only had to read, like, a little bit. So, Lancelot, French for Lancelot of the Lake, also in his Lancelot. Another variance, blah, 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 where he's typically depicted as King Arthur's close companion, one of the greatest knights of their own table. That's about what I was thinking. Yeah. So, like, why is, what happened here? Um, in the French-inspired Arthurian chivalric romance tradition, Lancelot is the orphaned son of King Bon, raised in a fairy realm by the Lady of the Lake. Interesting. I did not know that. A, hairy, a hero of many battles, quests, and tournaments, and famed as a nearly unrivaled swordsman and jester, Lancelot becomes the lord of the castle, joyous guard, and the personal companion of Arthur's Oh no. <laughs> Lancelot becomes the lord of the castle and personal champion of Arthur's wife? Wh what does this mean? Despite suffering from frequent and sometimes prolonged fits of madness. But I, I, that's what I was just thinking. But when his adulterous affair with Guinevere is discovered, it causes a civil war. 
once exploited by Mordred, brings an end to Arthur's kingdom. Oh, uh, yeah, it said Lancelot becomes the uh, personal champion of Arthur's wife. And I thought, like, I when I first read that, I was thinking, oh, he's going to, there, there's going to be an affair. And then I thought, oh, wait, no, maybe just personal champion. Maybe it's not that bad. And then literally the next line, adulterous affair. And then also prolonged fits of madness. Wow, that's like a double hit. So the, um, the affair thing is obviously really bad and would kind of like the whole civil war that i mean bro i'm trying to think like now i mean in fate like arthur like homegirl arthur saber um she i don't know exactly if the lore in the in fate is that one-to-one because if she knows about the like like here in the in this the wikipedia right it's that, like there's an affair that causes the civil war and so i assume that in fate there was a civil war that was probably caused by the affair or something like that, and so wouldn't wouldn't Saber know about that already? In which case she wouldn't be so confused about Lancelot. So maybe the lore is a little different, but I mean even maybe you know who knows who knows exactly how the, what the lore is doing there, or if there's like maybe King Arthur doesn't know about this and this or something. Right? I'm getting a very like very basic little look at it. Um. But yeah, the. Prolonged fits of madness is obviously big berserker hit, and then the uh, affair is kind of like why there might be problems with Saber specifically. Let me just skim this to you. Um, dun 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 Lancelot, devoid of his father's, becomes the perfect knight that succeeds in completing the greatest of all quests, achieving the Holy Grail. When Lancelot fails himself due to his sins, both loyal and treasonous, Lancelot has remained a popular character for centuries. Wow. Dang. Oh. Aliases, White Knight, Black Knight. Black Knight's kind of crazy. Black Knight's kind of crazy here. Red Knight, Wicked Knight. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, they're kind of cooking with that. They're kind of cooking with that. All right, let's look at some comments real quick. Um, so first, Okeanos. Um, I think both of these things can be true. I think both of these things are true. So uh, in like the first comment is saying, uh, Japan is located in the Eastern Sea, exactly where Iskandar was charging towards in life. So in a way, he reached Okeanos. Uh, and then the reply says, it's more meant to be Okeanos was within him the whole time sort of thing. Hence the idea of his heartbeat being the sound of the waves. I think both are true, actually. Like, I do like the idea that he was heading east and then it ended up that he did make it there. He made it on the, he made it into the island on the sea of that east area he was going for. But I do think they very, very clearly were also saying the whole Okeanos was inside him thing. So the, the first part of like him making it kind of in it in his own way or like after all he did kind of make it there uh i i do quite like um but the really big thing is that it was always like the point was that it was in it was in him all along so i think i think both are true i like both um just read up on lancelot fate stay night was localized on switch and steam 14 hours ago you know what we love to see that we love to see that that pretty much anytime i watch anything there's a new release when i'm doing it okay I'm, like, like, almost, like, this has happened, like, 30 times, bro. I finished Monogatari, new Monogatari season drops, right? Sadly, I finished Hollow Knight. We still haven't seen Silk Song, okay? Sorry. My, my power can only do so much. But, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty funny. Um, I can't believe we just dropped a Gilgamesh. No shame in dropping to one of the most overpowered servants there are. Gilgamesh is built different. Yeah, I've learned this. I have learned this. Um, bram, bram, bram. We did look this up. Oh, this is the video we just watched. Um, legitimate or uh, Iskandar even man managed to gain respect from Gil. Waver too, legitimate quite an achievement. He doesn't give that out willy nilly. Damn right, damn right. Waver, dude, I love Waver. Another comment was talking about this right here, right here, right here. The writer versus Archer fight is so perfect for the culmination of Waver's character arc. He joined because he wanted to be respected. He gains writer's respect and then he gains Gilgamesh's respect. Damn right. Ah, uh, Gilgamesh, extremely arrogant, freaking crazy gives his respect to Waver. It's so good. Um, there's kind of a question of, like, does, um, Gilgamesh respect Kyure? Um, I would, I like the idea that Gilgamesh does not respect Kyure. He just finds him entertaining. Kyure even acknowledged him in one of the previous episodes. Like, I would, I would agree with that, I think. And then same thing with Saber, too. There's kind of a little bit of a back and forth of, like, um, like, what does Gilgamesh think of Saber? I feel like Gilgamesh it sees Saber as just, like, really interesting and beautiful, but not necessarily, like, respectable, right? Respect is very different from wanting something, right? Like, like, if you want something, like, honestly, it, they can be in such odds, too, right? Like, if you want something, but you respect it, you might not try to take it because you respect it too much to take, you know? But if you want something and you don't respect it, then you're just gonna grab it, right? So I feel like that's where Gilgamesh is, um, where he doesn't respect her, 
but he finds her to have like a very unique type of despair and like a really unique type of struggle that he you know finds interesting and therefore wants to like you know like i think he sees her more like a treasure to put in his treasure vault than a person he respects that's that's kind of the vibe i got there um and then here so gilgamesh's only friend is in Kidu from the original legend um many people mistake it for referring to kyure uh, I also, when you, when this, reading this comment, it made me think, like, I wonder if Gilgamesh saw his relationship with his only friend, Enkidu, um, in Waver and Iskandar. Because it's kind of like that same thing of, like, weak person that cares about and is, like, striving for, to, like, be with and help out a really, really strong person, you know? And so with Gilgamesh, he was the really strong person, but like in a way, it's kind of a similar, a little bit of a similar dynamic, I feel like, where Iskandar is this like larger than life giga guy, and then Waver's just this person that's like wholly dedicated and really cares about him, right? So it's kind of a, I wonder if he felt a little bit of like an empathy of like, oh, they kind of like, my, the, what happened in my life is kind of repeating a little bit here a little, you know? So I was kind of wondering, you know, maybe there's a little something there. Um, Gil's sort of rupture is from before swords existed, it was used by the god A. Ea, whom the sword is named after to split heaven from earth at the beginning of creation um uh, he was shown to take offense early in the show and tokiomi asked him to use it against caster's master that's crazy bro that kind of man for him to not use want to use it on caster but he willingly pulls it out against iskandar that's that's so lit bro um and then light novel says that the tears waver said are now the crisp tears of a man brother brother had his character arc um excalibur is fully invisible uh true I probably should have, yeah, I, 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 was tro I was maybe trolling a little bit, but yeah, yeah, I mean, same with Berserker, he, he can't see it at all, so I guess the point, I mean, I'm trying to remember exactly, because this has kind of been a thing before, I feel like in the, uh, was it the first Lancer fight, where, like, Lancer kind of figured out the length of his Excalibur, too, um, but no, yeah, I mean, the point here was that, how does this knight know excalibur so well like enough that they're blocking all my hits despite it being invisible like you would have to know the length and like all these things um but the, and the answer of course is it's lancelot so lancelot already knows that right so that's that's the point uh so i do get that this i didn't really get though um which is cool that to everyone else or we could see him in his form but to everyone else he was like a black mist shape that's why saber couldn't recognize his black armor until he deactivated for someone's glory that's really cool um, cause yeah, I mean, that could have been like something that'd be like, what you don't rec- it's a knight, right? Like, why wouldn't you think a knight's spooky? But if ever it was appearing, if Berserker was appearing as mist to everyone, then that makes, that explains that a lot better, right? Um, so that's cool. Boom. Bible quote is speaking by Kyure, not Emiya. I, I thought as much. Yeah, I, I might've misspoke or something, but that is what I had in my head. Um, and that's why it was like, I think kind of like, I took that as Kyure kind of trolling, right? Where Kyure... He's speaking this by this by this famous Bible quote, um, but homeboy's not. He's he's pursuing his pleasure right now. He's pursuing entertainment. So I feel like he's saying this in like a dramatic, poetic kind of way that he's just feeling himself, feeling the energy in the room, and is spinning Bible verses because he finds it funny. Like like he finds it entertaining deep down to be like spinning this shit that he don't really believe anymore. So that's that's kind of how I interpreted that. Um, regarding Gilgamesh's super stick, uh, I believe it or. Bra, 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 bra. Excalibur was described as being anti anti fortress. In this episode, Waver estimates Ia to be anti world. Yeah, it's kind of like the perfect counter to the situation where where the reality marble that's kind of like a mini world, and so for it to be anti world, that's like a GG. Um, and apparently they're categorized by who they're effective against. So say, like Saber was anti unit, Excalibur is anti fortress. Um, Iskandar's army thing is anti army, and then the super stick is anti world, which is crazy. And yeah, that's what a couple of people at the end were saying. So got that understood. And I guess it's not necessarily a power thing, but like, yeah, like, like, I, like, I feel like I kind of imagine in my head that if Gilgamesh is super stick, he was trying to like swing in melee with Lancer, that Lancer would win because Lancer's anti-unit and, and you know, like Lancer spears are made for beating one person in close to close combat. And so Gilgamesh is super stick. Yeah, it might be like Omega powerful, but would he would it be as effective in a one-to-one -one combat as like Lancer's spears, you know? Maybe, I mean, maybe, who knows? I don't actually know how strong this thing is. It seems to be very strong. So let's not put disrespect on it, but it really kind of, um, that's kind of like a compatibility. It kind of gave me like a compatibility feeling, but yeah. Um, so that's that. Woo. 
Uh, last episode, I don't really have much to recap. Because who, you know what I mean? Uh, um, it's just crazy. We got... Rest in peace, Iskandar, bro. I really hope you can come back one day or something. Like, I, I, don't, I, I was kind of saying I don't know if you're dead. I don't know how this works that well. But you're gone. You're, go you're gone, gone. All right? But, like, I don't know. I really like this character. So, pretty much all we got left is Korea and Berserker. Korea is working with Kire of the promise that he'll get to have the Holy Grail. Who knows if you trust Kire to do this? That's kind of crazy after the whole Tokiomi incident. But, hey, I spit your shit um kire obviously is just trolling i mean he doesn't want the grail so like you know but like would he give it to korea out of like good faith goodwill or would he just be like oh you want it you want it oh sorry bug boy and snap it in half right like i feel like we're gonna have that same thing again um and then saber's fighting lance a lot and kire and mer are probably about to square up basically we're just it's everything's falling apart uh if everything's falling apart and we are panicking um, also, I gotta reopen my, my file, because it's, my little window's not here, man. Downloaded videos, storage, fate zero, this was 23, I gotta open up 24. Season one, scroll to the bottom, oh my goodness, this gonna take a minute to open. Okay, well, how you doing, chat? Hey, while you're here, like the video, subscribe, comment down below, alright? This is finale, alright? You not excited? We gotta get lit, okay? You know? Um, I don't think we're gonna have a very good ending. I, I think it's gonna be really good, like, to watch, but, like, I feel like it's gonna be very poor for the characters involved, you know? Um, yeah, I, 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 I feel like it's going to not work out for Emiya. Um, and it'll be, like, this horrible moment where he's like, wow, all my sacrifice, all this horror I've done, and what has it amounted to? Nothing. And so all you've done is worsen the world. Saber is fighting demons right now with Lancelot. Um, here we go. Now it's open. Now it's ready. Basically, yeah, things are falling apart. Episode 24, let's get this going. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Audio check. It was on English. Put it in Japanese. Subtitles check. Um, show subtitles, I think, is on. We are ready to go. 124. I think it said the, the title was the last something, but I'm gonna purposefully not really read it. Let's get this going in a three, a two, a one, bang. What is already going on? They're already facing down. Ba-dum, ba-dum, ring. Where are we? I'm 24. I had to double check. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, like, not ready. Where, what is going on? Okay. Oh, he does have the super bullets. Okay, that's true, though. His super bullets would be really good if he could land them. Did he just use the command seals to upgrade his attack? Is that what I just saw from Kire there? And where are we? Are we, like, we're, it looks like we're in the back rooms. Is that Was that a metaphor for their for them fighting each other? Or was that literally like we're about to end the OP and they're gonna be swinging, bro? Oh shoot! Cause that looked like the back rooms, bro. <laughs> oh man, remember Archibald? Rip. Remember Tokiomi? Rip. Remember Iskandar? Rip. Remember Waver? The W was in Waver all along. Think about that. Remember Lancer? Huge rip. Man, Lancer got hoed. Remember Maya? Maya got, okay, Maya got, like, disrespected, bro. Poor Maya, bro. It says Kire in the, Kire, why does it say Kire up there, bro? What word is, means, like, it's said as Kire? Because that wasn't the name Kire. Does Kire mean, like, to, de to despair? I don't know. I'm just yammering. All right, can I not yammer in peace? That's kind of my thing, bro. I just kind of yap, 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 yap. That's kind of all I do. All right, anyways, focus up. Ugh. <sighs> Like, looking over, making sure everything's recording. All right. Yeah, now we're cutting the Lancelot. Like, Saber does not have her game face on, bro. It's just sad. Yeah, this fight's actually happening. Or is he... What is he using to... 
Like, 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 what is he doing there? Does it need to hit their body to have that effect? Oh, it did break. Wow. Okay, he blocked it. Okay. Dude, what location are we? We're in like this underground, like under the, maybe under the theater or something. That's right. Okay, he is doing that. Wow, that's really bad. And he can keep summoning those. Dang! That, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, yikes. That's... That's a bit scary to hear. He's about, is he just about to punch you in the stomach, bro? He's about to upper, he's about, yeah, I saw, dude, that punch, that punch was telegraphed. Oh, in the chest, yeah. Dude, that was a power stance. Ugh. You know. No, <laughs> oh, she's trying to take it all on herself again, bro. Oh, remember she is the cop. <laughs> Why is she on fire? Is she turning into the Oh she turned into the Grail. It's there. It's there for the taking. It's cool, they're kind of both, like, having a parallel fight right now. Oh! Wow, Emiya just lost. Just kidding! Smart, Emiya. That was really smart. That was actually smart. I'm holding down the trigger twice as fast! <laughs> what do you got? Just the bullet again? I love this effect. He's using a command spell as the source again. Oh, he tried to block it. Because, yeah, he doesn't know about all that. He didn't expect it to be so special. Okay. That's really good for us. Jeez, these guys are, these guys are struggling down here. You've named your guns the Calico and the Contender. That's so funny. Oh, I forgot you have that. I forgot about that. Oh, so he was down for the count. Okay. Oh, you could grenade. Black keys? Are those your sword things, maybe? Triple? No oh, shit. Here it comes. You just get hit him with your gun? <laughs> Ow! Good to use your broke your ruined arm already. That's smart. It's like blood, bro. So he was putting this here because this was like the site for the Holy Grail. That makes sense. I thought he was doing it to troll, kind of, but that also makes sense. Because she was kind of the thing all along, yeah? Okay. Don't let this guy just one-hand parry all your attacks. He's not even looking at you, bro. Come on, Amiya. Square? Is he reloading? Looks like he's reloading, yeah. What 
Where's Gilgamesh right now, bro? That's just what I'm thinking. Oh, we're right underneath. We're under. Yeah, we are under the theater. That's what I thought. Zam. Really bad timing. Really bad timing. <laughs> what just happened? Did you just die? Did Lancer might have just died? Yeah. I mean, my Lancer, I mean Lancelot. Sorry, sorry, sorry. They got similar names. Oh, that's just sad, bro. And he calls her out, bro. That's like the only thing he says this entire thing. And it's calling her out, bro. What is going on? Is this your village? Your island village? Oh my goodness. Not, not a spiritual flashback. Now that they're covered in blood juice, bro. Is Kirei also here, bro? Why is it so scary? It's like a blood eclipse. This is too easy. What's going on? We didn't win the fight. We just got dropped. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. This is the Grail talking. Recorded. It is recorded, though. That's creepy. It's like black rain is tripping me out. I will do as you did is kind of freaky. I don't know. That, that sounds kind of... I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> okay, is this the room that we made out with Maya? Oh, no, oh, where, 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 what's going on? Sorry, that's sneeze, bro. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, that survived the wish? Or, wait, wait, what do you mean? What is going on? Why are we getting like a trolley problem? He's like, oh, I can, I can do this. I can answer any trolley problem. <laughs> I'm an utilitarianist. I can do all of this. That's what he's thinking right now. Kill them? Kill the 200?
So is that like, is this her explaining the method that she would do this? Yeah, he would kill all of them. Um, so she's saying like, I'll save the world the same way. You, I'll do your wish the same way you've saved people by killing people. So I'm going to kill a lot of people to do what you want. That kind of is the vibe I'm getting here, which is, you know, not, I don't think he'll like that idea. <laughs> Because this is all a hypoth- yeah. And only Emiya can fix it, somebody else gotta learn, bro. Oh, wow, is this just, just gonna repeat? But if he- dude, it's gonna keep getting lower and lower, but if he just repaired the first one and didn't kill anyone, then he would have saved 200. So eventually by doing this over and over, he'll uh, have lost more people than he would have saved. Type B, you know? Or maybe that's not where they're going, but if it keeps splitting like that. But then it keeps splitting them, bro. It's like he's not focusing on like the optics. Dang, the girl's just calling him out. Yeah, that's the that's the problem. Ooh. Oh no. Part of the grail is that you have to understand it. Surely. Wow. Yeah, so it's just a it's just a way to upscale. That's crazy. Whoa. That's about a oh, there's still yeah, there's smoke from his barrel. Huh? I don't know what that word is, but yeah, the second part, okay. The one worthy. That was a crazy name to be given. Oh, Prisma Illa. With a knife? That's just mean. Maya? This is so trippy. Bro is having an entire, like, grail hallucination. This is so... Bring back... That's cool. That the uh, window got all the way fogged up. Aww. Huh? This guy is so unhinged. Uh, 
I didn't. I was. I. I forget how much this guy's got the dog in him, bro. <laughs> he just gunned down his his Grail daughter without any hesitation, bro. This guy. Yeah, because they are like the Grail, so yeah. He's just doing the equation again, bro. Did his text just turn red, bro? Oh, just for when I was at Tom. Damn. What a shot. <sighs> this, what a crazy... Is Kyrie still here? Or is that Kyrie right there? Wait, wait, wait. Stand up. Oh, that is Kyrie on the floor. Okay. He was just watching, bro. He was just watching what Emiya would do. That's crazy. He was just watching the show again. At least brother's consistent. At least brother's consistent. I gotta put respect on that. That, that, he, he didn't hesitate again. That's, yeah, I gotta. Oh. Oh, shoot, Saber's gonna get it. Saber, grab it! <laughs> Before Emiya can even walk into the room, you gotta jump and yoink it, okay? Full speed. Excalibur, charge! Come on. Yeah, it's over. Oh, Gilgamesh. Oh my goodness, Gilgamesh is gonna get it put in his vault. If freaking Gilgamesh is... Yeah, it's over. Gilgamesh is just... Yeah, yoink! New treasure. The last two servants, bro. The last two heroic spirits. She's already gotten a hit, bro. It's so over for it's so over for Saber. Gilgamesh wins these. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> Be stained only in my color is crazy. I shall give you every pleasure is crazy. I didn't even see that one get thrown. This It's so over, bro. We're just all getting hoed. Gilgamesh is training her like a rabid dog, bro. Yo? Are they about to have a last minute reconciliation that's gonna clutch? That would actually be crazy if they can have a moment <gasps> uh. <laughs> uh. 
She wants it, and he's forcing her to destroy it. That's crazy. They're not having any reconciliation. Wedding ceremony is crazy, too. He just commanded her twice to destroy the grail. Oh my goodness, and they end the episode on that. <sighs> well, that didn't go as I expected at all. That, like, it's funny, because I thought he wasn't even going to be able to, like, really get the grail, but he got it, and it was worse than he, it was bad. It wasn't what he wanted, which is, like, you know what I mean? It's not like it was tempted in front of him. He just, he didn't like it. Which is like, I guess it's fair. I liked, like, it, where it's just like, yeah, the girl can do, it can only do something you cannot comprehend. You're the one that gives it the wish, right? Right, it requires, like, your subjective viewpoint to, like, establish itself. So if you don't have what you're looking for, then it cannot be done. Like, I like that. It just means he was hoed from the start. It's crazy, like, he doesn't hesitate in the slightest to kill his Prisma, Illa, in his dream, you know? Or in the, like, vision or whatever. Because, like, I gotta respect that, right? I really do. He said, okay, you want to kill people? Six billion, two of you, bink, bink, easy equation. Like, he's, at least he's consistent. It's just, I, the boat analogy kind of perfectly calls him out, though, I think. It, it calls out the flaw in his, um, his scheme. In his equations. Right? <laughs> Kire kind of got hoed a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I expected brother to- he just watched the show and then get shot in- and then got shot in the head, bro. That's kind of crazy. I was expecting Kyure to like be a way more of a power player, but- but it, it, I don't know. They kind of just was like, boom, we're in the underground, you know? And I was like, oh shit, this is happening? And then Kyure just loses the- like, I guess- okay, I do like that he was watching this all, right? Um, because- yeah, like, he had to have been there in some form, because they were both in the room when the Grail blood drop, dropped on him. So, I was I was kind of like, where's Kirei for this? But I guess what Kirei wanted was, I mean, he's always been really interested in Emiya. He just wanted to see what Emiya would do, you know? Which is like, fair enough. That's what I wanted to see what Emiya would do. So, we were kind of on the same same page there. Um, But then he was like... I want it. I, w I want myself answered. Please don't kill it. And then he bops Kirei. Because, yeah, I mean, Kirei now is going against his new objective, Emiya's new objective of destroy the Grail. That's Emiya's objective. So if Kirei, Kirei is going to be in the way of that, bink, problem solved, right? Um. And then Gilgamesh is just being Gilgamesh. This is just classic Gilgamesh behavior. Destroy the Grail. <laughs> her screaming no as she swings her sword <laughs> that's a peak i like that's so that's goaded bro her being commanded to do the one thing she doesn't want to do it's like the lancer thing kind of again bro where he doesn't want to kill himself she's like please don't make me oh my goodness <sighs> how's it gonna be a full another episode bro the last command seal was the name um yeah the boat analogy i actually really liked uh i thought that was really smart because and I don't know, I don't know if this is really the point as much as my extension of it. Um, because the way that this is kind of going, this time we have 200 and 100 on the other, right? Like, originally, it was 300 and 200. And so, and he is captured by the 200. If he had given up on the 300, given up on the majority, and just saved the 200, then those people would have drowned, the 200 would be fine, he would repair that hole, and then there would never be another split again. He wouldn't have to make any more choices, right? He would always be able to repair new holes in the in the ship of 200. When he has two ships that are constantly having people split between them, he's going to whittle, the, they're going to get whittled down, right? It's going to be 300, 200. He kills all the 200 people. 200, 100. He kills all the 100 people. 150, 50. He kills all the 50 people. 150. He kills the 50 people again. 75, 20 to 5, right? It's just going to keep whittling down between the two ships over and over. And eventually, I mean, at that point where I got to, it, just running the running the, the scenario down, it's going to be under the original 200 if he had just saved the 200 and let the 300 drown, right? So the nature of his decisions 
allowed more problems to arise that caused more death than if he had just kind of done the other option originally. You know, if he had just saved the 200 people instead of the 300, then there wouldn't be any more source of conflict that he would have had to make choices and that would have saved more people overall. Because what he doesn't understand is by killing the 200 people and moving to the other ship, like that is opening up room for disagreement that causes people to split again, right? There's two ships. He's always going to be pulled too thin. He is trying to stretch himself too thin, and that has opened up conflict that he won't be able to solve without losing more people than if he had just chosen different originally. So, yeah, I think the ship analogy, it, it shows the flaw in his own thinking even by his own thinking, right? It's not that killing the 200 people is, like, bad because, you, you know, you shouldn't kill people. No, I think it's a bad move because... If you keep running the situation down, you're going to lose more people. Even by his end goal of preserving human life, right, and saving as many people as possible, even by his own goal, I think killing the people kind of was displayed to be the wrong move because of the nature of the ships, right, the way the ship situation worked. And that's not, they didn't really go to that full extreme here, um, but I think that's the natural continuation of this, right? I mean, that's what they, what they kind of say here. Holes, is holes have opened up again. You're split too thin, right? What are you going to do? And he says, you already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill the lower group. But you don't realize that if you just give up on one group and protect what you have, you will save more people than if you continually try to divide yourself like this. So in a way, I think he's getting called out for his own thinking, using his own thinking as the way to call him out. So I really liked that. I thought that was really well done. Um... I would have even liked if they kind of played with that a little even more, right? So, I, I really like that. Um, him not hesitating to kill all the people here. What, what was the thing here? Three remain? Will you kill two? Or will you save two? Will you save two? Oh, because... I guess you have to... Yeah. Or choose one. So, it was Maya versus... The other two. And then he's like, oh, I kill Maya easy choice and then and then it was okay the two of them <laughs> what are you gonna do but to, to save to be with them would be to have the grail you know the wish answered that would kill a, a bunch of people he doesn't know how many necessarily but he knows that the method is killing and so you know if you had to kill it would it would maybe be genocide it, it maybe be on this side it would almost it maybe just be kill every human you know um, because if every human has conflict in their heart and he's trying to get rid of all conflict, then yeah, it would kill, it could kill every human. The way that she's like, yay, daddy, <laughs> with the gun barrel. What's that? The Glock. <laughs> I respect that move so much though. <laughs> I just do. This guy, like, you can hate Emya all you want. You can get my, my issue with him is not his principles, it's his execution. And the ship is calls that out. His execution, by, by running numbers constantly, makes situations happen where you have to keep running numbers. Blood begets blood, right? And so if he keeps spilling blood, he's gonna keep finding reasons to spill blood and he's gonna end up killing more people than he ever would have saved. That's kind of the situation I think the ship calls out. And so, but here though, when he's gunning down his kid and his wife, or like the projections of them from the grail, yeah, six billion versus two. Bing, bing, easy. Yeah, I agree with this decision. Good move. Oh, my child, my child. Psh, I'm gonna choke you out. Like, that's good move. And it's like, if he really wants to, he can be like, eh, these people aren't real, you know? So I, I, I respect the grind set. I really respect the grind set. It's just the execution is flawed. And that's the problem with the grind set is that it is, you, people aren't perfect and you kind of need a perfect execution to make these things like really pan out. You know, you need a really good execution to make these kinds of insane, like, utilitarianist thoughts work. And so, if you, you know, if you have little misplays, since as, like, being slightly short-sighted in, like, running numbers and such, you're going to just cause more problems than you're going to solve. Because people, that's the thing, people aren't pur purely rational. Even if you, the great enlightened utilitarianist, is like, yo... I figured it out. I must just save more lives than I lose. You know, if you have the the enlightened, you know, Emiya position, right? The problem is, even if you've gotten rid of your own emotional barriers and you're acting purely rationally, other people don't work like that. People are emotional. 
you might be able to quell it and go pure rational, but people are emotional. They're not going to understand what you're thinking, and that's going to cause division. That's going to cause blood. That's going to ruin your plan, right? You have to play the optics game. That's been my issue the entire time. You have to play the optics game. You have to take into account the emotional things. Even if you don't feel it, other people do. You can't just ignore that. It's kind of my problem with him and Saber. He's like, I'm not going to be the one to bear all evil. Because this is not, you know, he doesn't, you know. Yeah. It's funny. He's saving the world from the thing that he created. The, the world's only in danger because he's the one that would be putting in danger by putting the wish out. So you have created the problem you're saving, you know. Yeah. But still. This shot was cool too, how they like scene change. I like how they were scene changing. It, re it really made it feel like a vision and like that chaoticness, you know? And then waking up in this blood pile, that was just great visuals too. Th this was just super cool. It, dude, and then these rings of the, the theater. Wait, this shot almost gave me Dante's Inferno vibes. Am I wrong? Because it's like the rings of hell. And what's the lowest ring of hell? It's icy, it's cold, and there's blue lighting at the bottom. I think I'm, I don't think that's intentional, but I, it gives me those vibes, right? That he is at the bottom of the rings of the rings of hell. He's at the bottom of the pit, and the pit is cold. You know, that's that kind of energy I get. But yeah, Kira, um, GG, um, good try with the using the command spells. It's a shame you didn't really realize that his origin bullets were origin bullets. You know, hey, it got Archibald too. All right, GG. Um, you know, what does that mean to, for Gilgamesh? Gil Gil Gilgamesh is just free to do his own thing now. <laughs> Jeez, it's so bad, but it doesn't matter because Excalibur just cut the freaking grail in half. <laughs> this is so good. And she was like, please let me have the grail. I want to fix my, my, my problems. And he's like, no, this grail's too dangerous, bro. Yeah, bro, you don't, that's the thing though, the grail could be used for good, you know, it's just the way that you try to achieve good is flawed, you know, so that the girl won't accept it. So if, if somebody else though, had a wish that wasn't as, that wasn't going to be coated in blood, then it would still be a useful tool, but he doesn't trust the tool anymore. So he just says, get rid of it because he doesn't trust anything but himself, bro. He says, get this out of here. He hoped for a miracle and it hoed him. Dang. Um, and then yeah, Gilgamesh treating her like a dog. I, I will whip you into shape and you will be my most beautiful wife. Yeah, this guy's crazy. Um, yeah, what did I, dude. Okay, I don't even know what they're gonna end with, bro. Uh, I'm glad I'm watching two. I'm glad I'm watching two. Um, I do have an hour to watch this last one. So I think that'll be more than enough time. And then I'm on stream. Then I got a stream scheduled chat. But yeah, let's just uh, jump into this, bro. The last episode of Fade Zero. Let's shoot, where is it? No, shut up. What? Hey, 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 stop, stop. Okay, sorry. <laughs> the English was playing on another another monitor. Okay. Um, show subtitles. Audio. Japanese. Subtitles. English. Run it back. Episode 25. The title of the episode is Fate Zero. Wow. They're going scary with that. The fate of this entire quest was zero. Because that's the crazy thing, bro. The grail was fate, but we're destroying it, and so it's zero. Holy crap, this is peak. All right, let's get this going in a three, a two, a one. Bang. I think it was a little delayed, but... Poor Saber, bro. She's just getting tortured this entire show. It's been her losing and getting tortured and doing things she doesn't want, bro. Mm. Dang. That same thing again. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying, bro. She's just been getting hoed over and over and over.
Wow, all these locations. Did work, yeah. No. That's what? Oh, the. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. That's really scary. We have broken the vessel. Oh, blood! Oh, shit. Is it burning? Gilgamesh, okay, Gilgamesh just got souped. Dude, he, he doesn't, he doesn't know the consequences of his own actions, bro. Now he's like, no, this isn't what was supposed to happen. Oh, it's fire blood. Oh, now it's killing everyone. Oh, Emio, what have you done? Chris Maila is like, I feel a disturbance. Dude, I can't believe we just destroyed the entire city. If he had just used the grail for like, I wish for a peanut butter sandwich. Give me a PB&J real quick. I wish everybody got a free peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Like, like, you know, this wouldn't have happened, right? A big black hole opened up over my head. Oh, he's trying to save people right now. It's just hell. It's just hell on earth. Wow, and it happened. It was like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Kind of. That really is what he is, bro. He's just a self-fulfilling prophecy character, bro. This is the last thing he would have wanted is for a city to burn, and that is exactly what he caused. By getting the by breaking the braille grail. My goodness, I mean. Once again, execution not ideal, but jeez. Bro's still alive. Yeah, I guess Lancer didn't, like, completely drain him. Or is this a- what's going on? You went back home? Whoa! I didn't- What is going on? Okay, he's having a- he's dying and having a hallucination? <laughs> oh yeah, but this is mad fake, because homegirl has no emotions, she's a broken person. This ain't real. This is some- this is some knots. <laughs> yeah, he's dead right there. Oh my goodness, no, bro. Into the bug pit. He did make it to her, though. But then he died- Holy crap, this is such a bad ending. You're alive? What? Gilgamesh is naked! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Peak! <laughs> Damn, Gilgamesh! Like, I saved you, but, you know. The mud st spat me back out. Brother, why are you nude? Okay, I, yeah. I can't believe you're alive, kid, eh? Does your magic work anymore? What? 
is happening. Now you're my heroic spirit. <laughs> uh, okay. How did he gain true incarnation? I mean, that's kind of what Iskandar wanted with the Grail, yeah? Oh. No, Saber, though. Saber should be alive. <laughs> That's funny. He likes it. Okay, well, Giddy got his wish. Ooh, that's a crazy shot. It's a crazy line to talk about your dad's seed. That's crazy. What left we gotta do, bro? Mmm, kind of facts, yeah. Are you gonna wear a new red cloak? Is bro about to change his fit? Oh no, he said put some pants on. Mmm, <laughs> okay. He wants the answer to, to this situation. Okay. <laughs> Gilgamesh, you are... I can't believe you're just in a red light towel and you're naked. <laughs> like, brother is so much less intimidating right now. You just spat that name. Mm, the thing from the, yeah, in the, the Grail stuff. M.E.M., how you doing, brother? I, I feel like your mental state's not gonna, yeah, he does not look like he's much. He is so done. He's walking away, bro. Is he just looking for people to save still? Even still, he's trying to do the same thing, bro. He feels like he was saved. Mm. 
zero. Oh my goodness. That was crazy. It went zero, zero, zero at the end. Waiver! Sorry? No, uh, he's not mind controlling them at this point. I'm very willing to say. <laughs> yeah, Waver, what is it? Waver really got the good ending out of all of this, bro. Everybody else got freaking hoed. Saber's despairing. Emiya got a bunch of people killed. Good, good, good for you, Waver. He doesn't feel like he needs to prove himself academically anymore. Cause he's he's got. No, I feel like he just does. Yeah, yeah, he'll say it. Waver, I trust Waver. He wants to live more life. That's what Escondor was like all about, bro. He's like, yeah, Waver, go get, go get some stuff, bro. Go get some moves made, Waver. Yeah, Waver. No. Bro's gonna go work at McDonald's. McDonald's waiver. Yes, McDonald's waiver. Aww. Dang, I did not expect Waver to become chill with the people he was mind controlling. That's so great. Ah, uh, man, Iskandar made a mess. Yeah, William Shakespeare. Is that him on the cover? I think it was. Mmm. I love Waver. No, <laughs> the... Dang. His shirt. Oh, a bonus one, one your size waiver? Maybe. Or maybe that was just his shirt. Bro, waiver got the best ending. Kyrie got the second. Kyrie also got a good ending. Everybody else got hoed or killed. Oh, he's speaking in English. Your. That's crazy that he's here at this funeral when he was the killer. That's crazy. That's crazy. I bet he really liked that. I thought. I bet he had a big smile going on inside his heart. Oh my goodness! An eight-year-old is a family head. It's so over. What do you think about him, Rin? I was about to say, huh? Oh. Oh, she's still alive. She's just... Wow, that's so sad. Is 
she got super like brain damaged from getting choked out like that. Dude, Rin's life sucks. Rin <laughs> just lost her dad and now has to take care of her mom as like an eight year old. <laughs> Everybody got the bad ending except for Waver, bro. <laughs> and Kide. <laughs> Shout out Waver. It's crazy that he's still watching her, because that's kind of what he promised to Tokiomi, yeah? <laughs> the dagger is crazy. <laughs> that's, that's so crazy. Isn't that literally the murder weapon? <laughs> that's the murder weapon. Oh. <laughs> uh. I shanked your dad with this. That's crazy. Wow, Rin got hoed. He likes it, bro. Kid it did. <sighs> what happened to Saber? Oh, it looks like we are figuring that out right now. Wow, we're flashbacking to this shot from the OP. Poor Saber, bro. His last words were crazy, yeah. Ooh. Mmm. Yeah, he wanted her to, like, make him pay for that. He, he wronged her. Yeah, yeah, that's so real. Wow. He wanted her to punish him for his wrong. It's, ooh, it makes me think of Caster a tiny bit, too. These are like Lancelot's true thoughts. Hmm. Yeah, put some respect on her name, bro. She has not gotten, she has not gotten like any respect this entire time. Put some respect on her name. So did Saber just burn in the boil in the water? Never opened up. <gasps> He failed. They didn't let him back in. That kitty saved. The kitty saved. He's trying to help, like, rebuild. Go move. Five year time skip. Did he stop killing maybe? And just tried to focus purely on saving people without killing? Because he seems to be building and trying to like do other stuff, you know? Never saw Illa again. Ilya. Yeah. T 
That's just too bad. I feel like he at least learned. Like, like, like he's obviously changed. Yeah. I'll be the next champion of justice. Is he actually gonna be an important character, bro? Wait, is this a real character? That's a real character, probably. Oh, <laughs> shoot. Sipper's like the definition of suffering from success, bro. She's like such a good person that everything just goes wrong. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's okay. I got one thing to say. Waver stays winning. That's all. Like, Emiya bro caused it. Like, he pretty much just gave up. He made everything worse and then gave up. Am I wrong? He got an entire city destroyed. But for that, like, he saved the world. But he saved the world from his own problem. Like, his- I feel like that's the thing, dude. Like, he finally realized that his path was just causing more bodies. And he was never going to be what he wanted to be. And so he gave up on it and just chose to adopt the kid and, like, rebuild a bit, you know? So he pretty much had the bad ending, but at least he learned from it. Uh, Saber had the got killed in the boiling blood ending uh it seems and then had her vision and now she's just a em ephemeral heroic spirit again like Iskandar or whatever i assume like everyone else uh so she pretty much just lost um emia uh, i just said emia kure and gilgamesh is now uh, alive and walking around so gilgamesh got a w gilgamesh got a huge w down to zero we go they're going crazy right now. Uh, and then Waver got the biggest win. Yeah, Kire and Waver got the wins. Kire got what he wanted, which was he got the answer handed to him, and now he's gonna spend the rest of time like figuring out what the like how to get that answer again, kind of, you know. And he's also having a really good time. Like I think he's having a great time with the uh, with Rin, you know, being like, here's your here's your father's dagger, or like. You know, a gift from my mentor, and it's the murder weapon. Like, you know he's loving that, bro. He's finding such exquisite pleasure out of that, I bet. So, Kide's got the good ending. And then Waver has got the perfect ending. I love him! <laughs> yeah, and that's the end. Holy crap. What a freaking journey, bro. I can't believe Saber just got boiled in... I think she just got boiled in the blood. Because, yeah, she was gone for the rest of this. Oh, yeah, and then Korea got, like, the worst ending. I mean, right? He made everything worse and then died, right? He had the... At least he had the hallucination of everything being okay. Um, <laughs> Daddy Korea, or whatever they say here. Which is like... <laughs> we know Sakura is not this, bro. And instead, it's just, he's dead on the stairs. He died in front of her, being like, I'm going to save you. And then he just crumples and slides into the bugs and basically reaffirms what she thinks of, don't disobey granddad, right? So if anything, he made it worse again. Everybody just made everything worse, bro. Emiya made everything worse by his own goal. Save people. Got a bunch of people killed, right? He caused another, he caused a cataclysm in the city, you know? So he's pretty much just ruined everything. Good job, Emiya. Um... If he didn't save that one boy, he, it probably would have been GG for him. Uh, you know, Korea, all he wants is to save Sakura. What happens? He fails to save her completely. It, like, par like ruins, like, very much damages her mom. Kills her dad. And then in front of her dies, which reaffirms her belief in the his abuser. In both of their ab abuser. So, wow, made that situation so much worse. And now his corpse gets to be bug food, so... I'm surprised he made it to the end. I'm gonna be honest, I'm surprised he was an endgame character. from Because from the beginning, I was thinking, 
this guy is on a suicide mission, right? He is destroying himself for this goal. He's not going to make it that far. He made it to the end. He was one of the last three. So, good on him for that. Um. <laughs> so, what happens when you disappoint Grandpa? Like, you've just... You've made that worse. You've made that so much worse. Gilgamesh is just straight up naked chilling. <sighs> Gilgamesh was undefeated in this entire thing. Yeah, I feel like he low diffed every situation, bro. He's just too good. He's just too strong. This guy. I mean, like, even Saber. Like, he was just... He was gonna beat Saber without any problem. He was just toying with Saber, being like, mm, have an axe, have a sword, right? Nobody could stop him. This guy's just too much. And so he just saved Korea, or, um, Kire, and then, you know, now he's happy again. All right, now, yeah, Gilgamesh gets to be incarnated. Kire gets to live. So they're technically, I think, the victors. Oh, because Saber died in the blood. So yeah, I guess they won the Grail. And so that means that they got to like be incarnated in a sense or something like that, right? So that's why both of them get to live because they were the winners. So yeah, Kire won. Which I'm not surprised about because Gilgamesh, I, like last or two episodes ago when Gilgamesh beat Iskandar, I kind of thought like, I don't think anybody can beat Gilgamesh anymore. Like Saber's not going to be able to beat Gilgamesh, I don't think. Lo and behold, Gilgamesh survived. Gilgamesh won. And that means Kira got to live too, you know? And now he's, I guess, correct. I can't, Kira being alive still is crazy too. I'm glad that he's still alive because him just getting shot down by Emiya, I was kind of like, oh my goodness, Kira was kind of a cool character. He just kind of got hoed, you know? So I'm glad that he, he got to live. And now he's pursuing this, um, what was the name? Something, something. Angra mine you so that's just the great like the inner grail stuff yeah like the name that was posed to um emia i i think uh and then emia of course is just freaking a broken person i feel like this redhead's the uh, is, is the next main character in the next story am i wrong i think i i think i recognize him a little bit as like i think i've seen like a picture of him next to saber or something is this kid actually important that's crazy if so if the if if the next kid, if this kid is actually important, because I feel like a redhead is the next main character. If I, if I, if from one of the, I don't know about, I say next, I don't know what the next one even is, but I think this kid's actually a main character. That's crazy, bro. Um, a new champion of justice has been born. And then this, that's Alexander the Great right now. This, this is, um, isn't this the shot of him with the elephant and everything? It looks like kind of like that shot. I think that's him. So from the, like the OP or the that one ED, I mean, but yeah, it's crazy, bro. This was cool too. This was so cool, with it counting down. Bing, and so that like culminated with him saving the kid, and then also like Gilgamesh winning and everything. And then we got basically our epilogue where Waver's up in the world. He's gonna go live his life. He pretty much got the best ending. I'm so glad Waver got the best ending. Shout out Waver for this. Rin got the My Life is Ruined ending where her dad's dead. She has to take care of her mom. She's the head of the family house as like a middle schooler. Uh, and her like mentor is the is her father's killer and she has no idea. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> and, you know, he might keep, keep he might keep toying with you, which, you know, you don't want to be Kire's uh, target. So basically Rin's life is ruined. Have fun with that. Saber got a... I really liked this conclusion with Saber, where he wanted judgment, right? Like, she was so righteous that other people went into madness by being around her, in a sense. Like, I think that makes sense, right? Where it's like, like, how, like you, how, like how could you feel worthy standing next to her, you know? She's, like, too ideal... She's too easy to idolize, right? And so that makes people go crazy when they're trying to, like, live up to that, right? Like, I feel, I feel like that works really well with Lance a lot. Um... Or, like, that, that culmination here. And I'm glad we got some finale with Lancelot. That's what I was worried about when he was just saying, like, Arthur! Arthur! I was thinking, like, we're not gonna actually, you know, I want him to be able to speak. So we did get that, right? But it seems that, I don't know if Saber actually got to hear this, you know? But yeah, so, like, she was so righteous that she wasn't, she didn't give people judgment, which is what they wanted. She was too good, bro, suffering from success. Had your anger judged me, I might not have fallen onto the path of madness in my search for atonement. Yeah. And it, it reminds me of what drove Caster mad with God, right? It's very, I think that's, there's a cool similarity there. Where both kind of went mad because they were so, they were, it was kind of, I mean, it was more like, 
God won't judge me, you know? But it's, it's kind of that same thing of like, this is atonement though, so that's a little different, but poor Lancelot, bro. Poor Saber. Saber got the bad ending too, where she just basically like despaired a bunch, felt like she was punished, weeping that she's not worthy, and then that's it. That's all she got, bro. Holy shit, dude. This just went so... Someday I will win the Holy Grail. So surely, this is a prequel, right? So surely there's another Holy Grail war and she's back in it? Is that what's gonna happen? That'd be lit. She'll get another shot? That'd be really cool. Maybe with the kid with the redhead? I'm kind of putting together pieces that I shouldn't have, but I don't know how strong those pieces even are. Because I just have like a, you know, I just kind of feel like I've seen that before, but I don't actually know. So, but that would be super cool. And then this is just, I had not returned to the grail and never opened up the forest magical field. I never saw Prisma Illa again. <laughs> and Mia got such a bad ending. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's kind of cool because now Redhead and Illa are like half siblings. That's kind of cool. That might be a, a, a thing in the future. Yeah, and then he just stops, and then he pretty much gives up his path and just tries to build things, which is, like, I think the better way to help people, right? You want to save people? There are a lot of ways to save people without killing people, you know? This is a great example of it. Though I don't even know if he's saving people and rebuilding as much as he's just kind of settling down with his kid that he adopted. That he orphaned, too, huh? By causing the grail stuff. Because, again, if he didn't break the grail and just, like... Okay, am I wrong, or could he have just wished for everybody to get, like, 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 everybody gets a sandwich? Surely that would have worked, and he would, like, help, every, you know, instead of breaking it. Like, he jumped to an extreme that kind of, you know? Could you not just, like, obtain the grail and then wish for something banal? Oh my goodness. What a finale, though. I'm just glad Waver got the dub. That's the biggest win in my life. Dude, I'm like, I'm like tapped, bro. <laughs> just watching this happen and just being like, well, we, we just effed it all up. It really did. It felt like a nuclear reactor. Just like, ee, ee, ee. there was like lights blaring, emergency sirens going. The, this entire last few episodes where it's just like, we are on a path to destruction. That's all we got. And then it, everything started falling apart. It was like, yep, everything is falling apart. So good job, Emio. Good job. And then her and then her dream of being realized is crazy. And then a big black hole opened up over my head and the world burned, and that's exactly what happened. He saw it happen and cried. Yeah. He kinda got off easy too, for I'm gonna be honest, for causing that much destruction, he just gets he just settles down and like chills. And raises a kid. I mean, like, what else can you do in life, right? Like, but it's just, like, I'm glad he stopped doing what he was doing up to this point. Because it's, like, you just, the grail was, like, your only hope for being a champion of justice at this point. So when that didn't pan out, it's, like, there's nothing left to do anymore, right? It's GG for you, brother. Um, yeah. So, that's crazy. But honestly, that's all I got for the finale, I think, of Phase Zero here. What a freaking series. Really, it really surprised me. Um, it ended up being a lot better than I thought. Again, my favorite lot, plot line of the entire show, unironically, has become Waver Iskandar. Uh, because it's just the character growth we got to see through Waver. Um, and, like, the bromance between the two of them right which I, I felt like was working so well the entire time iskandar's like philosophy that waver kind of like learns to live a bit more i think him traveling is a really good like way for him to live that out right uh just kind of just like live a good life and enjoy what you live right uh and just want more life you know that was such a unexpected thing that really spoke to me so i really really liked that probably the most out of everything um Though, of course, I did like a lot of the other things, too. Like, the, uh, Aikide. Kide was a sleeper hit, bro. Coming out at the end and just being like, I enjoy it because it's funny is unironically uh, so good. It's so good. Because he's just, like, his little... He's just giving the murder weapon to the daughter, bro. 
That is such a real move. And you see that he likes it, bro. He likes it. He gives a little smile, man. That is so, like, what a fun character, bro. So he ended up being really cool. Um, Emiya kind of getting this dramatic, like, everything goes horribly wrong for him. And I feel like he gets called out on, on, his, on his methodology and then he gives up it. I really quite liked that. Saber I'm intrigued on. I, I'm, like, I'm kind of curious, like, could we, how much should Saber, like, grow? Um, because she seems to be doing the same thing she's always done, somewhat, of, like, she's just shouldering the burden again, and she feels like she's unworthy, and I feel like her response to that is going to be to try to be more righteous, you know? Um, though, so I, I'd be curious, I feel like she might be in progress on a character arc, but I feel like she didn't get to conclude one as much. Uh, so, I mean, I'm I, I did end up a lot more intrigued in her character than I was in the beginning, though. Um... But yeah, she pretty much just got, like, she pretty much just got hoed over and over, which is, you know, hey, it happens to the best of us, right? That's the path you walk as a king, I suppose. Uh, and then Gilgamesh is incarnated, so I, I, and I'm interested where Gilgamesh goes to. Yeah, so, pretty much all the endgame characters, I, I've liked what happened to them. Rip all the people that died early on, you know, Assassin, Archibald, Lancer, Rip Lancer especially, but... Yeah, really surprised by how good this was. We'll have to see if we keep going on the fate train at some point. But honestly, that's all I got for this one. On to the next, whatever it is. Mm, bless me. But until the next uh, episode, series, whatever, whatever it is, whatever you watch, I appreciate you stopping by. On to the next. Uh, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe. If you're new, blah, blah, blah. Comment down below if you have anything to say. Might do like a like a tier list or like a post a post video to like check what y'all comment on these this last episode. We'll see though if that kind of feels like something worth it. You want to talk about the show anymore? Jump over to the Discord. Link in the description. But until then, until the next episode, series, whatever, that's what I'm going to I'll be seeing you then. Peace.